Hello, everyone. What? Hold on. We're a little bit far away here. Just, uh, 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 uh well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to All the Mods 8. <laughs> I have finished that little hallway in between episodes. And, uh, yeah, these, these vector plates definitely make us travel down to where we are a lot quicker. So if I'm ever in here and I want to go to the end, I just do that and I'm here. The longest part is literally the falling. <laughs> it takes longer almost to fall from the top here down than it does take to travel this hallway's distance. But in today's episode, we're going to be, uh, well and truly expanding our mystical agriculture setup around this ring and hopefully getting into a few of these ones here generating some decent stuff like the redstone copper and and iron and whatnot so we have like an iron farm set up essentially and um hopefully getting some of these as well so uh, as we can see we're over six hours now in uh total time accumulated because i have spent a little bit of time down here working on this and cleaning up a few things and we've also given this some time to generate a little bit of cactus for us so if we pop into here i will just do that up like that beautiful green dye and the reason i want that green dye is so we can use it for our lily pads of fertility and making this stuff here so finally i actually have enough to do a serious amount in fact i need a little bit more of this okay what else am i missing now the catalyzing glands do i have any in here not right now but that's okay we can uh we can work on that so i'm wanting to set myself up with a bunch of these there we go that's a little over four stacks and each one uses 20 i think is that what we worked out five on each side 20 perfect so i'm sort of looking like a total of 12 13 more at the moment with the amount of stuff that i have cool that should get us going fairly well into this stuff here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah and maybe 13 okay oh wait that's jumping the gun a little bit i want to work on these ones silly me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Maybe we can get all of these done today. Sixteen, and I have enough for thirteen. Cool. With a little bit of work, we should be able to get that sorted just fine. Now, I think these catalyzing glands is a creeper drop. So, I might, uh, I might run my creeper setup for a little bit here. Just chuck that on and uh, let it build up its stuff. Uh, oh, all the items are coming to me because of my magnet. There we go. <laughs> so I'll let that hopefully build up. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I assume it's from my creepers, but I'm not seeing many drop. Let's actually have a quick look at our friend the creeper here. Maybe it's unrelated. We'll have to work this out. The recipe for that, it can be dropped from ghasts. Okay. Standard creepers, fire beetles, and standard ghasts. So maybe I need a standard creeper. Hmm. Well, it's fine. We can work that out later. We've got enough to get us started for the time being. So the reality is there's not much use in me showing off the process of doing these because I've kind of done that already. I'm going to go around and uh, set up a bunch of them around this external part here and uh, try and get them prepared, get myself set up with the ender chests on top and the hose and everything set up in the middle. And then we can start producing our seeds and seeing how we go from there. It may not be the most efficient way to uh, do it like that first and then work on the seeds, but I think it'll look nice to have them all ready and prepared. So I'm gonna do that and get out of this damn rain and then we can start working on producing a bunch of different seeds i'm excited so it is getting dark let me get to work and i'll pop back in once i have all of those created all right i've made some changes i removed our mob farm because we now have a full ring 
of mystical agriculture. Planter beds. <laughs> so, I've extended this around the outside, joining it up as best I could. Maybe I could have moved that middle one a little bit further, but in the end, we've got all of these set up, 20 in total, around our central area. And I think I'm probably going to remove these bees now, and uh, we'll do something different with them down the line. But uh, yeah... This is now turning into like a proper mystical agriculture circle. I've set this up in the middle, ready to go. And now all that remains is to start putting together these. I went ahead and used the copy and paste gadget for most of this, except for the framed blocks, because it can sometimes cause some problems if you're trying to copy framed blocks across. So I did the framed blocks manually there. But all of this is all set up. Each one has a all the modium hoe in it, it's set up 5x5, five five and it has, oh, the dirt essence has been filling up. Interesting. It's hit max. Okay. Uh, upgrade at functional storage. I don't have any, but uh, I could be doing those ones, but honestly, we'll just, we'll stick with this. Two of those, one of those, I'll add that there, and there we go. 9,300. And now that can hold 65,000. In fact, I should probably make up a handful of these. There we go. 32 should do for now. So that'll allow me to double up the amount on the ones that actually have storage. And I've already got one in all of those. I'm just going to put them onto all of these. Okay, nice. On top of that, I have... Uh, Made sure that I saved the stuff that we got. Oh, those can come out of there. Uh, saved the stuff that we got from tearing this down. So I still have the mob mashes. I still have everything, including the uh, the spawners, ready to set up again if I need to down the line. And if I was going to, it might be a larger one underneath here. Down attached to our main storage over here. Maybe on that side. For now though, it is nearly night time, which means that these guys should all go to sleep and I'll pick them up and uh, just store them away temporarily, clean this area up so it's nice and symmetrical, and we can probably do some different kinds of these on the inner ring just here. That's the plan anyway. So let me uh, clear these guys out, store them away, and then we can start working on the next tier of mystical agriculture. Tier two, Prudentium. Yeah. All right, so to get started on this next layer or this next level, we're going to have to start working with Prudentium. Oh, we haven't even done these ones. Am I getting ahead of myself? <laughs> Probably. Air agglomeratio. I think this is something that I actually need to start working on anyway. So a lot of these, they would just use the actual item themselves. But once it comes to something a little bit different, for example, Coal. I think this requires, okay, that one does require coal, but when it's something different like coral, it requires an agglomeratio, which is a combination of a few different types. But before I get ahead of myself, we have one, two, three, four, five different types that we need to do. These five are earth, fire, ice, air, and water. Mm, we might just continue down one side over here to do that. So what I'm going to do is just add these to, yep, nice, add these to here, and then that way I can check what we need. So an air agglomeratio requires some gravel, some dirt, some clay, and a glass bottle. Let's see if I can make that. I need some clay. Easy enough. I'll grab four of those. And I just need some Inferium and some Prosperity Seeds. Now, I'm pretty sure I have Prosperity Seeds, so let's see how we go. Uh, I have two left, but might need to make a few more. Luckily, in this dank, I have, yeah, I've got plenty of Prosperity Shards, so I'm not too worried about that. Pop that in the middle, grab some Inferium. Perfect. Now, rather than focusing on one until I have it all up and running, I think I'm going to go around and just place them in and try and get a bunch of them sorted and they'll start to provide the seeds as well as the, uh, the item themselves. So if we go over here, we've unlocked the air seeds. That gets us 
a prosperity gemstone. Nice. And this is part of the Inferium, so I believe that it will work best planted on here. Yeah, secondary chance is 11%. So for the tier one, we're just going to use the Inferium on that. Now, of course, this isn't going to go very fast if we don't use our lily pads of fertility. So now that I have this set up, we're going to add that in there and it shouldn't take too long for this to get picked up. The next thing that I'm going to do to make sure that this goes fairly smoothly is jump down here and I'm just going to grab an end. I've got one there. We're going to put this on the outside here so that I have access to it and I can, uh, I can start stacking them over on these things rather than having to go inside here where I've got it all sort of tucked together. So there we go. An air essence. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We'll put the air up there. Wonderful. Now it's just a matter of waiting for some seeds to arrive and we can start to expand that. So I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, consistently check the ender chests here. And once one of those produces a seed, it'll start to expand. Okay, next one, uh, I can actually get rid of the air seeds. We'll go water seeds and these need water agglomeratio, which is pretty doable. Water agglomeratio just requires some water buckets. So, uh, bucket, I'll grab a little bit of water, four of those and some seeds. And these early ones are honestly pretty basic. They're pretty simple to use, not too difficult to get your head around how they work. And we can set up these farms nice and quickly. Water seed will speed up the growth and that one's ready to go as well. Oh, air seed. Nice. So what I'm going to do with that is come down in here. We'll uh, put it into the air side. And then since it's locked, I can take that back out and it'll remember what was in there. Perfect. Next on the list, ice. This one just needs ice. Do I have any ice actually? Uh, I have one piece. <laughs> I wonder if I can make it out of anything. Well, I know where there's some ice. <laughs> let's, uh, let's quickly go out and grab some. Oh, because I removed my, uh, my mob farm over here, I've actually lost track of where I am. I'm so used to using it as a uh, direction, but this is where I want to go. And I'll not only grab some standard ice, but I'll grab this packed ice as well. Okay, beautiful. So this one's super simple. Couple pieces of ice and we're on to the next one. Nice. We have some water essence that has been collected that can go into storage like so. And once we get some water seeds, we'll put that in there. We got inferium farmland and inferium seeds. Wow. <laughs> okay, next two are the earth and fire. So the fire ones require a fire agglomeratio, which is lava buckets. And there's some lava just there. Look at that. One, two, three, and four. Some seeds. Nice. Now, I think I'm going to uh, go over this side and do these ones. Just because I want to kind of separate the Inferium from the next layer. Even though it's not going to perfectly work out like that. Uh, just keeping most of it on this one side just seems a little nicer. So, fire seed, put down our lily pads. And I think I forgot to put the lily pads over here, didn't I? wonder why the ice seed's not growing very fast yet. No additional seeds just yet, but plenty of additional of the air seeds. So that's good. Now, I haven't actually looked at what these can be used for. Let's have a look at the air essence uses. Oh, okay. Used in crafting a few of these things. That's interesting. In awakening. Oh. Used in making unobtainium vibranium alloys. Miniature twilight portal. Interesting. What about this one? This one's used in crafting. We can make mud, kelp, clay. So we can make that clay now. Dripstone and even water buckets with it. That's pretty cool. We have ice and fire essence. Ice can go there. Fire can go there. And we're waiting for some seats. Okay. The last one to do is the earth. And that requires earth agglomeratio. Can I make that? I need some grass. One, uh, two, three, four. Beautiful. 
some earth seeds can go over here. God, this step height is actually starting to cause problems. I might need to uh, to redo my boots. What are they at? Step height 1.5. I feel like I'd be happy with one. For now, we'll chuck down that. And there we go. We have all of the base tier of the Inferium. Tier 1. Now we can move on to Tier 2. Cool. So a lot of these ones are going to require agglomeratio as well, but they need the Prudentium Essence. So I'm actually going to put that over there and get rid of that one. Because the Prudentium... I got rid of. <laughs> the recipe for this is just Inferium. Now the Infusion Crystal, you might want to make a master one at some point soon so that it never breaks, but I should be able to put that in there and craft up a bunch of this. 117 uses left, we may as well break it. Perfect. So we have plenty of that to start ourselves off. Now I'm pretty sure that that means that we're going to be aiming for Prudentium farmland for these ones. And I think an easy one to start off with is probably some coal. So let's grab one, two, three, four of those, put the Prudentium in and make some coal seeds. Nice. Coal can start us off on this side with some Prudentium farmland. That has the secondary chance to 11%. That's perfect. And nice. Earth Essence can be the last one in that line. And the different seeds here, water seeds can go there, fire seeds and ice seeds. There's the air. This one is water. This one's ice. And the fire was over the other side. Okay. Now, I feel like we get the idea here. I'm going through the process of uh, picking what we need to from this list. Obviously, we've got some coal. Tier 2 seed bag will give us something. A Prudentium ingot. Nice. And uh, I'm going to go through and start sorting these out. And they're just going to require things like gathering the materials that we need. Uh, I do have a little bit of honey left over that I can use for that. So I'm going to go through again and just work on the seed side of things for now. And by seed, I mean not the animal side. Um, these things. I'm going to work on these, see if I can get these ones up and running, just so that we have them all. And what do things like the aluminium allow you to do? Make aluminium ingots. Nice. And aluminium is used in stuff. Immersive engineering, building, silent gear, industrial foregoing. Cool. Oh, some really nice blocks. Half of this stuff I don't necessarily need, but I'm going to make it anyway. <laughs> so... Uh, let me see how I go working through the rest of them and then I'll bring you back and show you what our storage is looking like after that's done. We have built up just over eight hours now. It's nice. It also gives you a little bit of an idea of how long I've been working on these episodes, like how long it takes. I think when we started off, we just passed five or six hours. So a couple of hours work, uh, setting these up and getting it to this point. Let me get these ones up to the point that I'm after and we'll see how much time we've taken then. So let me get to it and I'll see you in a sec. Yeah. And after a little bit more time, I now have all of this side set up. Starting to get a decent supply of all... Hello? Did you just spawn on top of me? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well, makes all globally possible bookmark trades. Huh, that's new. Anyway. I have gone through and started setting this up. We've got a bunch of coal going, the coral, the dye seeds, and these dye seeds, I believe, can be used to make any color dye just by using different orders, which is super, super helpful. So I no longer need to go looking for different things to get my dyes. Even the green dye that I was uh, getting cactuses for is now fully automated with this dye essence, which is really nice. Not only that, but for creating extra pylons, I actually used this nether essence combined with some stone essence to make the blackstone that I needed. So the combination of things that you can use this for is really, really convenient. And that side is completely done. Not only that, but I got some chicken seeds uh, as a random reward for completing these. So this seed bag goes through and gives you a chance of getting one of... Uh, 
one of the things, and I can't remember exactly which one it was, but I got myself some chicken seeds, which saved me having to go do this soul jar stuff. But that's what we're up to now. The other thing that I haven't been able to do yet is this saltpeter seeds. Uh, it creates saltpeter essence, and it requires an earth charge from a basol's shard. Basol's powder, basol shard, all of that jazz. And that is dropped by one of these guys. And I couldn't work out where to go, so I did a little Google, and I think I've found the solution. So, I'm going to find the nature's compass here, and just grab that out, put away a few bits and pieces, and we're going to go to the other. I really need to make myself a nether portal back over in my base. Uh, <laughs> I keep coming back to our little starter house here, but that's fine. It does the trick. So if we pop through here and then into the other, we just need to go up to the top of the uh, the land here, like so. I'm just going to land on top of a tree. What, what just hit me? <laughs> Oi. But we're going to search for a thing called Ancient Basalt Deltas. So if I pull this out, ancient, a uh, spell it correct, <laughs> ancient even, ancient basalt deltas here. We start the search, found, wait, <laughs> wait, am I in ancient basalt deltas? <laughs> Is this an ancient basalt delta? No, surely not. It just says the other at this point. Ancient basalt delta, start search. Am I in an ancient basalt delta? Well, let's have a look around then. Uh, I am after finding myself, it doesn't quite seem right, but I'm after finding myself some of those big floaty boys. Ancient crimson forest, a bit of a search using this maybe. Soul sand valley, warped forest, the other. Is it possibly uh, downwards? It might be downwards. Sometimes it is easy to forget the biomes can be uh, vertical as well now. So if that's the case, uh, let's just drop down here and go down into the bottom of the world a little bit. Oh, hey, this looks a little bit more like it. We're at Y level 30, still in the other. Oh, hey, you guys look like what I'm after. Yes, okay, perfect. Look at that, they're everywhere. Exactly what I was wanting. So that should be more than enough to uh, get what we need in, in one little go. We'll have a little bit of a look around this area because it's interesting. It goes quite deep. Negative 45. It's quite bright down here. What is this? Soul lava, hey? Is that used in anything? Okay. Heat. B conversion into a soul lava B. Huh. We'll keep that just in case. Oh, and I got a spawn egg. Perfect. Anything else down here worth my time? Possibly, maybe, just some basic wither skellies. 38 should more than do. Cool, let's head home. And it's thundering. Let's sleep this away. So, if that's the case, we can go over here and I will just grab... Wait, I didn't want to go to that one, did I? Salt Peter requires... I can do it with different things. Hold the phone. Nitrate dust. Nitre dust. Okay, so this is how I get into it uh, temporarily. Phew. I was worried that maybe... <laughs> yeah, maybe I'd done something wrong, but it looks like uh, that's the essence that we get from this stuff. The nitrate dust also requires the mystical agriculture stuff or breaking down different things. Oh uh, yeah, we might have been able to go the immersive engineering route, but we've got what we need now. So I'm going to make some of this, which requires some of that, which requires some of that. So I can put this away in here, make up a bunch of it, make up a bunch of that, and I only need four. Perfect. I can put this egg away too. From there, I just need some prudentium, some prosperity seeds, and we should be good to make our last one in the top section of tier two. Nice. Now, while going through the process of getting all of this put together, let me just quickly do that. And we can start off this one. You can see that I've actually added a few extra. 
I've gone through and added 20 more on this inside layer, done my best to uh, fit them into this space. It's maybe not quite perfect, but it does it does work all right, and it is quite even, keeping in line with uh, with things. So I have all of those ready. Each and every single one of them already has a hoe in it and is prepared. It's all waterlogged. The thing that I'm lagging on is the uh, the stuff that I need to make these lily pads of fertility. So uh, I'm going to have to farm some creepers, I think. And for now, I'm actually just going to pop through here and make a tiny little room to uh, just farm individual mobs at the same time. Grab my handy mining laser, reduce that down a little bit. I'll just make a little room. Drop it down just a smidge. Grab my exchanging gadget and just exchange all of this out. Make it pretty. And my game crashed. Huh. Well, uh, that was strange. Do we, we still have our seed there? I think that's the first time I've ever had this mod pack crash on me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I suppose I'm doing that again. Hmm. Well, I'm going to set myself up with a little room and just grab one of my creeper eggs. Wait, what have I got quest-wise here? Ah, mystical agriculture, of course. Let's see whether we get lucky. Ah, uh, prudentium essence. Not so lucky. That's fine. It may be worth going through and doing a couple of these things to try and see whether or not I can get myself something from this seed bag. The tier one stuff I'm not too worried about, but while we're going through each one of these layers, it may be worth it just to do a couple of little things like this. I'm sure I can, uh, I can sort that out. I got some prudentium ingots. I have some fertilizer and then we would just need to make this, which is easy enough. But I'm going to see whether I can make this uh, this little spawning room, just temporary spawner, without crashing my game. Get myself some stuff, specifically some more of these catalyzing glands from creepers. It doesn't drop from the kind of creepers that I have. It only drops from sort of normal creepers. So I'm going to uh, set that up and then we can uh, we can start working on the next thing, which is making ourselves uh, this stuff, creating mob seeds, where we get a solium dagger from the nether and give ourselves some soul jars, which is just some soul glass, blah, 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 and go and uh, kill a couple of the animals that give that essence, and then we can grow that essence as a seed. All right, well, cross your fingers for me, and hopefully this doesn't crash again. I'm going to make this little room, get a few things prepared, maybe go through and make a couple of these things just to see whether we get lucky, because I am aiming to try and finish this second tier in this episode. That would be nice. To get all of these different types would be a good one. And then we can kind of uh, move on to the next layers and some other stuff from there. These ones I'm excited for. Getting some uh, some iron sorted. Gold is over in this layer. But some of these things are going to be very, very helpful. Redstone, obsidian, the iron, glowstone, quartz. The quartz is huge. Yeah. All right. A little bit more work to be done. Please don't crash on me. Moment of truth. Swap that over to a creeper spawner. And I've actually gone through and raised the spawn count to 16 and the entities to 32. So we should see a bunch of stuff going through here. Perfect. So I've upgraded this with an advanced magnet pickup and a bunch of stack upgrades. And so I should get a decent amount of these pretty quickly. It's completely silent. Spawn in a bunch of them, and I can swap that over to whatever egg I desire at any particular time, uh, just by clicking on it with a spawn egg. Now, I only had that one creeper spawn egg, so I'm going to leave it as a creeper for now, but this is going to uh, well and truly make us enough of this to start uh, making our lily pads of fertility. Yeah, not only that, but because we now have the stuff in here we need, I can just make stacks upon stacks of this green dye without having to worry about the rest of it. So, yeah, we've got another 43. And this is going to work just fine. <laughs> Iron leggings? Huh. We'll have to see how much this stack upgrade works towards. Uh, maybe we'll swap one of these out and add a void upgrade just so that we don't overdo it. 
and uh, I don't have to deal with all of this junk. Oh boy, yeah, that's interesting. But that is cranking out the uh, the creepers right now. Let's get a bit of a slightly better look in there. If I go far enough, oh, you cannot even see them. <laughs> there we go. So it will attempt to spawn 16 at a time and they die essentially instantaneously once they touch those things. A nice cheap little setup to replace our temporarily removed mob farm. Cool, this is good. I'll grab a bunch of those, put them away in here, and now it's time to work on the rest of it. I didn't end up going through and making the uh, stuff for the mob capturing or any of these, so I'm going to do that now, and then we can go look for some pigs, some cows, some sheep, some squid, some fish, turtles, and slime. The slime may be the most difficult, but I'm pretty sure I've got some slime uh, eggs. I do, so I could just spawn one of those and maybe get enough of it. But while I'm here, I may as well speed up this uh, this last one that we put in. Nice. Okay, back to crafting. So, if I want to uh, get a chance to get a few more of these, I do need to make myself up some Inferium, which should be pretty easy, but I'm going to put that in there. A watering can, that's easy enough as well, and I have plenty of this. So, we just need a bowl watering can, some prosperity ingots to make a couple of these. Oh, this is actually something different. Uh, this is fertilized essence. I'm after mystical fertilizer, which uses the fertilizer essence here. Okay, interesting. Good to know. Now we can make that and perhaps, <laughs> hold on. Let's put that in my inventory. <laughs> there we go. I got some Inferium Gemstones. Nice. Now I want to make this Prudentium watering can, which I already have all of the stuff for. Ta-da! <laughs> now I think I can use this to speed up a crop in a certain area. Yeah, so using the watering can, I can even further increase the speed of these things, which is uh, pretty crazy. And there we go. We have some stuff in there that we can put into our system. But the main thing that I'm interested in is actually seeing whether we get lucky with this. Sheep seeds, nice. So that's what I was kind of hoping for. And then I got mineral seeds. I don't know what that is. What is a mineral seed uh, in tier two? Mineral, hmm, what does this do? Makes mineral essence and mineral essence is used in what? Oh, this is something for our uh, integrated dynamics mod. Very interesting. So this is like a little uh, a little special extra one that we can use. Uh, do you have anything good for me? Yeah, nah, <clears throat> anyway. But the sheep seeds is fantastic. That means we got two without even having to go through that process, which is why I do want to make this sort of stuff. I assume I just need to make one of the uh, Prudentium things. So let's, for example, we want to make this. That requires one of those. A diamond shovel is easy enough to make. And I need one more of these. Okay, shovel and ta-da. <laughs> so uh, from this one, what do we get? Some prosperity shards, that's nothing, but cross your fingers for... Squid seeds, amazing. Look at that. This is like a compounding uh, chance effect of... Prudentium apple, huh? Well, that just means that I don't have to craft that, but it doesn't give a reward. So we've got three of these without having to uh, craft them at all. Prudentium armor, this could be interesting. Let's go ahead and diamond helmet turns into inferium helmet. We want a diamond chest plate into an inferium chest plate. And I'll just do the same thing for all of the base and then we can go to the next level. That completes the essence gear. Prosperity seed base. Yeah, that's useful. Now I can go on to the next layer, which I'm sort of prepared for. Oh, I need a little bit more of this prudentium. One of those. One of those, and one of those. Yeah. Now this stuff, I think, is pretty decent. Like, that's sort of diamond level, and I think as we go up, it gets pretty crazy good. Set bonus plants, plant growth AOE. Interesting. There's probably some interesting additions that we can add to that, like these resistances on top of it. But, let's see if we get 
Nah, just another Prudentium apple, that's fine. But we got almost halfway through all of that. Do any of these give a... That one does. Ah, the repurposes. Or the reprocessors, sorry. So these are actually something that are probably going to be used by us down the line. We can make an Inferium block pretty easily. A seed reprocessor requires some of this solium. Let's see whether we have any solium. Doesn't look like it. Wait. Solium ore? Dust is also good. If I grab out my uh, pick with Fortune 8 on it and accidentally break stuff in the background, that's fine. We got ourselves 9 from that one. Okay. So to make this, that's not too bad. A couple of hoes is easy enough and a machine frame is also easy. Nice. And then we can put that in there and make a secondary one using Prudentium. Go on, can we get half of it done without having to touch the uh, the other? What did I just get? I think it was just a block. Yeah. But <laughs> that did uh, finish this quest for me. Look at that. We ended up accidentally completing all of those just from the quest rewards. Nice. All right, a lot of this stuff can go away now. The squid seeds is great. I'm going to put these mineral seeds away because I'm not necessarily going into that mod just yet, but it does look like we're going to need to go to the nether. So how about we finally make a nether portal? I'm going to pick this stuff up because we're not really using our nouveau at the moment. And I'm just going to put that stuff there and the backpack down there. I think we'll uh, use this little spot, plank this back up. And do we have obsidian? Only four? That's why we need the obsidian essence. I can make some out of this obsidian dust and that'll get me going. It's actually the perfect side spot to drop this in. I'm going to uh, put some of the... Oh, duh. one piece of crying obsidian behind it then. Oh, hey, I've got heaps. <laughs> It is what it is. It's fine. I always forget the backpacks there now that I've been going through and uh, and just using my main refined storage setup. But a flint and steel, and now we can go through to the nether from our ship. <laughs> Perfect. Huh? Why did it spawn me here when that other one is a mile away? That's weird. Doesn't really matter because what we're after is just finding some of this. Solium. Uh, oh, I probably want to put my magnet on. I may have dropped it into the lava. That's fine. I'm sure there's plenty more where that came from. We'll keep an eye out. Yeah, in these sort of brown sections. There's 18. It's fairly abundant. And with a bit of luck, we'll walk away with a stack. Cool. Now let's see whether this uh, takes us home to the ship. Or whether it takes us back to... Uh, our original spawn. Huh. Odd. <laughs> because my original spawn is definitely a thousand or so blocks away. Like, uh, over here. So, our little, uh, our little portal is over there. That should be far enough that it would make a different, a different way. Also, it's starting to look pretty cool on the map. Regardless, we're going to put down all of this and mine it up. That should do. <laughs> so, I can put these things away because I'm not after them anymore. What I am after is this stuff, a solium dagger. Now that should be easy enough to do. You can make solium seeds as well. And what are these used in? Oh, they're just a, uh, a seed base. Do maybe all level three things require solium? Not sure. For starters, we'll make a couple of solium ingots and a diamond sword. We get ourselves a solium dagger. That gets us part of the way there. We need a soul extractor, which needs two of them. Okay, so we're going to need to make three overall, like so. A machine frame, and we have a soul extractor. And then we need to make a soul jar, which requires some soul glass. Soul dust. Oh, interesting. What's the difference between soul dust and solium dust? You have to make soul stone and then smelt it. Huh. Okay. Well, does that make... No. Let's take this inside and see if it cooks. Okay. And then... Perfect. <laughs> Pretty easy once you have something like this set up. So now I can make a bunch of this soul glass 
and some soul jars. And we got some as a reward. So here it says, most seeds are simple to make, but to make mob seeds, you need to head to the nether to pick up some solium. With the stone and ore that you find, you'll need to use these to make solium dagger uh, and soul jars. Using the dagger to kill mobs, you'll be able to gather their souls, which are used in the infusion altar to create their respective mob seeds. Alternatively, you can fill soul jars inside of a soul extractor by inserting a jar and using mob items to fill them. For example, adding rotten flesh will give a portion of a zombie soul. Cool. And I may as well make myself a tinkering table. Tinkering table. Because at this point, we may as well uh, sort of finish up most of this stuff. Let's just put those two in there. I can make one of those. Wait, probably want to put it in my inventory and I can make one of those. Yeah. Now at this stage, I'm not too worried about uh, getting into things like these uh, accelerators, these growth accelerators, but down the line, if we needed to, we could. So a soul extractor can put this uh, soul jar in there and turn raw pork chops into what we need. So pork, I have 55. Let's see if that's enough using this to do what we need. This is gonna require some power. So how about we put it over here? Put a soul jar in there and right, it should just need about 16 of those by the looks of it. Yeah, nice. But I don't want to just rely on that. I do want to try and go using this solium dagger. So if pigs is one that we're going after, which we're going to get pig seeds from, let's go find some cows. Yeah, cows. Ha ha. Let's see how this works. Do one of these have cows in it? Yeah. So that fills up one per cow. So I'd need to kill eight cows for that to work. Or we can use that soul extractor to, uh, to use beef, I suppose, which we will be getting from that too. If I do pigs at the same time, I can fill up another one with pig jars or pig soul. I've already got some sheep seeds, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's, uh, <laughs> Let's go find some. What are you doing spawned over here, sir? A beacon? You know what? <laughs> Why not? Uh, I can put some of this away. Now come back. You're selling a beacon. It's the first one I've got in this. Don't really need it for anything, but still. Ooh. A gatekeeper for the blue skies. And he has an alligator? A monitor? Hey, yo. Sir. That's kind of cool. <laughs> But I'm gonna go find myself some animals. Ooh. Oh, oh, <laughs> don't get distracted now, bottle. I think I'll search for the animals that I need, and uh, and get back to you guys once I've once I've done that. Oh, this is tempting to take on. Nope, don't get distracted. Super creeps. Oh, it's distracting. <laughs> I'm a man of focus, I swear. All right. So with a combination of the soul extractor here, using some raw card and some bits of uh, of slime and whatnot to make that, plus going out and getting some cows and pigs. I have everything that I need except for the turtle seeds because I don't want to hurt a turtle. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to try and get a bunch of skew to or, or set up anything like that. So we're going to cross our fingers and hope that if we do this and uh, make up the other seeds, then maybe I'll get lucky and it'll, uh, it'll give me one as a random reward. Cool. So let's grab ourselves some Prudentium. I have the chicken seeds and whatnot, sheep and squid. I just need somewhere in here, these prosperity seeds. Put that in the middle, some Prudentium around the outside and we'll start off with a pig seed, right? Oh, hold on. What does it need in the middle? Solium seeds. Ah, lucky we went and got some solium just before. So I'll take those out. And I think they're actually used. They are. They're used in making that. So um, we'll make a couple of these. There we go. Pig seeds. Nice. That's one. <laughs> then I'm actually going to do these all first so that I don't accidentally get one of the rewards as uh, one of the seeds that I'm trying to make. I feel like this will hopefully give us a better chance at getting uh, the turtle seeds. So we got ourselves some cow seeds, 
some slime seeds, nice, and last but not least, some fish seeds. Yeah. Okay. So with those seven, can we get lucky? Night vision augment, no. What about this one? Aluminium seeds, already got those. Prudentium essence, okay. Uh, Prudentium apple. No such luck. Unfortunate. Honestly though, I don't really see the use for this. It just creates more skewt, and this may be the most useless uh, of of the lot of them. Scoot is used in a few things, but literally only a few things. Element craft is about the only other thing other than the turtle uh, helmet. So I think we leave the turtles alone. Okay. Now the aluminium seeds I'm not too worried about. Let's get started on all of these. Uh, where do I have free? Over here. We can put down this prudentium and I think we'll start with the cow seeds over here. Then set this up for pigs and at the same time I should have a look because this is just going to make squid essence Ugh. yeah I don't know whether I would bother with the squid as well the squid and the turtles don't really do anything for me now the fish essence can obviously be used to turn into a bunch of different things puffer fish and these nautilus shells are a little bit more valuable to me so I'd happily do those ones. The slime seed can obviously be turned into slime as well as magma cream once we get to blaze essence. The chicken is important for like feathers and eggs if we need to craft a bunch of those and the sheep can of course make us wool for free. So I am going to do those ones as well as the pig but we will skip two of them. So sheep can go there and then if we come down into this area chicken and slime. Okay, look at us. So, we need to sort out what is in there so far, which is salt peter and the different bits and pieces. And that's going to start us off into this next section here. I'll put those in there and then we'll grab the extras, plant those up here. That shouldn't take long to fill in. And now, do I have the stuff that I need for making all of this? That's a decent amount. What was left rib bones do i have some left up in here i do heaps and in my uh in my backpack as well okay oh i need to make some more green dye luckily i have a bunch of this dye essence <laughs> that is so convenient all right so with that i can make up a few more of these and things start getting interesting we can speed up all of these ones around the outside and finish off the speeding up of these ones. And in fact, it looks like I've got enough to do these three as well. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, it takes slightly less because there's overlap. That's good. Nice. Look at that. If we jump up top here now, we are really starting to fill this area up with a bunch of different farms and uh, producing ourselves a lot of very, very useful items. All of these things in here, especially the uh, the main dirt ones, which can make us essentially any block. We can use it for mushrooms, clay, mycelium, dirt. On top of that, we can use our stone essence for all sorts of different types of stone, ochrum, granite, which we do need the nether quartz for, but that's not too bad. But these things are obviously, oh, we'll be able to make calcite once we get some amethyst, flint, dripstone, acerine. Is that how you say it? Nice. Air essence is a little bit useless, but the fire essence is definitely useful for making things like sand. Oh, even lava for free. That's pretty cool. And the water essence allows us to get some things like kelp without having to farm it. And this is stuff that will just build up and build up without us having to do anything. We just sort of sit around this area and we get thousands upon thousands of them. Uh, cow essence, pig essence, sheep essence and pig seeds. That can start going over here. So cow essence, sheep essence, pig essence, and some pig seeds. Not bad. Take those pig seeds and add them wherever I made pigs. Oh, these ones don't have a, a thing yet. Sheep, pig. Oh, hey bud. Hey, what? Hello? Excuse, <laughs> excuse me. Poison sacks from Evilcraft? What have I begun? What have I done? But a quick one of these, and we should, there we go, <laughs> get those underway. 
I can actually put this on the rest of them too. So at this point, we've basically finished tier two, except for obviously the uh, turtle seeds. I don't really want to do that. We may down the line if I uh, just want that completionist feeling, but for now, I'm not too worried about it. And uh, we didn't end up putting the squid seeds in either. Oh, fish. Did I not do the fish? Huh. Well, silly me. There we go. Oh, hold on. Why won't this plant here? Oh, uh, huh? <laughs> that's interesting. That's fine. Maybe it's a light level. Ooh, that's probably something that I do need to do. I have a couple of these deep slate things left and I've got a bunch of these street lamps and we can just go around the side and add a little bit of light where it fits. Oh, definitely not over there. But with that, I think we're going to leave it here. We've done a bunch of work on a bunch of different uh, mystical agriculture seeds. We've got ourselves a bunch of new things up and running. And the rest of it is sort of requiring a bit of expansion, I think. Maybe the outside needs another ring. But to do that, it may be that we need to start thinking about how we're going to expand this base. I'm going to have to do some stuff because we're getting close to the edge of that. Or do I make another circle for more of it? That's, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to think about it. I've got a little bit of work to do to make a few more of these lily pads of fertility, get them all the way around the outside of there, and just make sure all of this is lit up properly. Uh, that's probably all right. Actually, I think I do want this like that. Yeah. But all in all, it's turned out pretty well. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I got some blue. Where did I get these from? Huh. But yes, I can start going through all of this, uh, getting chicken essence and slime essence and fish essence. Chicken essence can go there, slime, fish, grab the seeds, which is chicken seeds, cow seeds, sheep seeds, and some slime seeds. Do I have any of the fish seeds yet? Doesn't look like it. Oh, no. Nah. Food? Oh, look at this. I got some toast. Oh, and a random reward of a basic pipe upgrade. <laughs> okay, well, sure, thanks. But look at this. Look at all of these items that we're now producing quite efficiently, quite quickly. It's going to be very handy for expansion and setting up auto crafting or anything for bits and pieces that we need made out of the mystical agriculture essences. So I think we're going to end it here. We've successfully expanded on our mystical agriculture We've made a bunch of extra flower beds or uh, planter beds to work on our next lot. And I don't think that we'll necessarily spend an entire episode focusing on uh, getting all of these now. Because we have shown off the main theme of getting it up and running. We showed off how to make all of these and... Uh, the basic process of going through using this altar system here for making the seeds and a couple of the different ways that you have to go about it, i.e. making the animal stuff by getting soul jars, making some of these things, etc. The rest is just a matter of going through, making the tertium, putting in iron, blah, blah, blah. And that's stuff that I can do either in between episodes or just uh, not shown on camera and kind of cut between it while I'm working on it for you guys. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you enjoy the look into mystical agriculture. I hope you like how this area is turning out. It uh, sort of was something that I wasn't really expecting, but I do like the glow of it and the neon. And I'm starting to think of bigger expansions around the outside to uh, to add more things and more farms and, and different mods. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoyed the episode. It really does mean a lot, you guys being so positive in the uh, comments. I appreciate the feedback and I appreciate that... Uh, you guys just enjoy watching this series and are having fun along with me. So I would like to thank my Patreon supporters for your continued support. You guys are amazing and I genuinely appreciate it. And until the next episode, I hope all of you take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Bye bye everyone. Uh, whoo. Ooh, 11 and a half hours. Not bad, not bad. Some take longer than others. <laughs>